What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another Zombies video where today we are looking at the story of Albert the Weasel Arlington. If you enjoyed today's video, a like rating whenever you feel like it would be very much appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel. Also, click the notification icon next to the subscribe button just to make sure that you are going to be notified whenever I upload a video. But with that out of the way, whenever you're ready, let's do this. Albert Arlington was born sometime in the early 1900s, where we presume he lived in Los Angeles, California. As Albert was growing up in LA, he got himself into a life of crime, becoming a master of schemes and robberies. In his younger days, starting out small robbing shops, houses, and then around about the 1930s, as Al became more comfortable, he got into bigger crime, robbing banks and becoming a master schemer. And soon enough in the late 1920s, Albert Arlington was known all around Los Angeles. And so because of this, Sal DeLuca, who was the boss of the DeLuca crime family, hired Arlington to work on his team, where Arlington was to do robberies for Sal and in return Arlington would get a cut of the money and was now a part of the DeLuca crime family. And so after working with Sal for a year doing robberies around LA, unfortunately for him, one of those wasn't successful. And on October the 11th, of 1931, an LA heist for Sal goes wrong and Al ends up waking up in hospital. While in hospital, because Al wanted to do drawings for comic books, he submitted Icarus from Mars for a publication as a comic strip. And even though this was his third attempt, it was once again denied. Apparently, Al's drawings just weren't good enough. But whilst Al was laying in the hospital bed, Sal DeLuca's crime family began to crumble around him. And soon enough, with the collapse of his empire, Sal, Billy and Finn were arrested. And not long after, on June the 9th of 1932, Al was also arrested for his role in the LA heist, where he was found guilty of grand larceny, grand theft auto, arson, conspiracy and battery. And so Al, along with the other members of Sal's gang, were now all locked up on Alcatraz. But Al, being the weasel, the con man that he is, began to come up with a plan. While locked up in Alcatraz, he came up with a plan to escape the island. The plan involved all four members of the Sal DeLuca mob escaping their cells, building a plane on the rooftop, and then flying off the island. And somehow, the weasel managed to convince the other members that this plan was going to work. And so together, they decided that on the night of New Year's Eve, that was the time that they were going to put Al's plan into motion and escape. And so on the date of December 31st of 1933, after the guard, Stanley Ferguson begins his routine around the prison and the lights go out, the mobsters escape their cells. But once escaping their cells, they quickly realize that Al didn't actually know what he was doing. And that actually this plane wasn't even possible to be built. Something made out of cloth and wood wasn't going to fly off a runway on the rooftop. And Sal, Billy and Finn quickly realized this. And now having escaped their cells and not having a plan, they felt like Al had conned them. And so Sal, Billy and Finn decided to betray Al. Building makeshift prison weapons, they pretended to go along with Al's plan, where they lured him to the rooftop to build the plane. But instead of building the plane, they murdered him. Al was brutally murdered on the rooftop of the prison. As for the other characters not having an escape plan, they were quickly caught. And for their crimes and the brutal murder of Arlington, all three were sentenced to death by electric chair. They were executed a few weeks later for the murder of Al. And that is the story of Albert the Weasel Arlington. However, as we know, that isn't the end we hear of our characters. Once all four of them are dead, they are sent back to the afterlife. The characters for their sins are sent to purgatory, a satanic iteration of the prison, where once again on the night of New Year's Eve, December 31st, 1933, the mobsters attempt to escape the prison. Not understanding that they were actually dead in real life and not knowing where they were, having lost their memory and not remembering the betrayal of Al, the mobsters once again escape the prison, but this time in afterlife, they build the plane. Once the plane is built, they get on it and escape the island. However, not long after takeoff, they crash into the Golden Gate Bridge, where they die and are sent back to the very beginning, to the night of December 31st, where again they attempt to escape the prison, they build the plane, they fly off, crash into the Golden Gate Bridge, die and are sent back to the very beginning. And soon enough, after a couple of escape attempts, the characters realise that 
they are trapped. They realise that they've built the plane several times and remember that actually, in reality, they are dead and they killed the weasel. And so, in an attempt to escape this reality, they build the plane once more, crash into the Golden Gate Bridge, but this time, they set out to kill the weasel. If Al is killed by the other three mobsters, then the cycle continues. Because these same events have taken place that happened in reality, where the mobsters murdered Al, the cycle continues. Nothing is broken, the same thing has happened, and so they are sent back to the very beginning of the map again. And they will keep getting sent back and back until the cycle is broken. And that only happens if Al kills the other three characters. If Al gets revenge and kills Sal, Billy and Finn, then the cycle is broken. Meaning, the story can progress and Al is able to walk free of the Golden Gate Bridge, as the very last mobster left alive. Once the cycle is broken, Al is free to leave as he's got his revenge. There we go, that is the story of Al the Weasel Arlington. A very interesting character. Compared to the other mobsters, Arlington we think is the second youngest of the four. As we see, he's wearing that typical prison uniform, but also wears a dark blue jacket with elbow patches and black fingerless gloves. On it, a little bit like Dr. Monty. His bald or has a shaven head, which he covers with a dark blue flat cap. Al's personality seems pessimistic, sometimes depressed, where he often said how hopeless he thought the mobster's situation was, and he would often talk to himself, especially the most out of the other mobsters. And we can see from the journal that Al had what he was using to write in whilst he was locked up. He wrote down his ideas and his plan to escape his thoughts. He said, I've completed the aircraft schematics, using only components that I know can be found within the grounds. However, everything hinges on gaining the trust and help of some of the facility's most notorious residents. They make fun of me sometimes, but they know I can do anything if I set my mind to it. I've planned enough jobs for them in the past to know that I can convince them to join me as Icarus takes flight. Speaking of Icarus, same story. The editor defaced my art, scrolling nasty little comments on every page. When I get out, I'll show him how wrong he is. It seems like Al's whole escape plan was kind of like a comic strip he drew up in his head. He maybe thought that in his comics, this plane could fly, and so in real life, it could fly too. It seemed like he thought this whole escape plan was like one of his comics, and he was going to act it out in real life and it would work. A few things that you may in fact not know about Al is that his name used to be Arthur. He has two different eye colours, the right one being blue and the left one being green. He likes wonder weapons such as the ray gun and even prefers it over the blundergat. He says that the name Nikolai sounds familiar to him. And his serial number is either 101A or 872B, I'm not exactly sure. As we know, 386A and 481B belong to Sal and Finn, that is the blood vials that Richtofen has, so Al's is either 101A or 872B. But there we go, that is the story of Al the Weasel Arlington. Hopefully you've enjoyed, if you have a like rating would be very much appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel and if you want more videos like this, click that little bell notification icon as well. Thank you all for watching and of course we'll see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.